Hello and welcome to another Magnetic Entrepreneur podcast. My name is Della. Over the next couple of weeks, we will have the pleasure of introducing to you amazing speakers and leaders that are going to grace the stage of Turning Point 2020 uh, between October 17th and October 25th. These amazing leaders um, are impacting the world in a powerful way, and their message is one of well-being and hope. Today's guest is Dr. Anna Maria Clement. Over the past 40 years, Dr. Anna Maria Clement has been an international leader in the progressive health movement. Prior to coming to the United States to join Hippocrates, she was the director of Sweden's Brandall Health Center in Stockholm, an internationally recognized and highly regarded center for health recovery. She was also a member of the Natural Health Care Coalition, a government supported effort in unifying the field of complementary health care in her native Sweden. Anna joined Hippocrates at its original location in Boston and brought a refreshing European approach to wellness. Dr. Clement is the author of several books on the application of natural health methods in family and children's care that include Health and Healing, Healthful Cuisine, Seven Keys to Lifelong Sexual Vitality, and Killer Clothes. In her newly released book, The Power of a Woman, Anna Maria Clement helps to nurture our individual paths by sharing the experiences of great leaders and role models. She unwraps through each chapter how our power is affected by attitude, confidence, and belief in becoming a true leader ourselves. Now, today, I have the pleasure of speaking to Dr. Clement, and he is going to share with us what is the topic of her speech at Turning Point 2020 International Conference uh, put on by World Organization of Natural Medicine. It is absolutely my pleasure to have you on the podcast today. Welcome, welcome, Dr. Clement. Thank you. It's so exciting. (laughs) I look forward to this conference and sharing with so many amazing people and sharing it with everybody. You know, this, I think now it's time more important than ever that we share what we know because people have been sidetracked and railroaded into doing things and eating things and drinking things that was so wrong for so many years and paid many times with their own life. And we have so much knowledge that we need to share it. And, you know, I just talked to this wonderful woman. I did an interview with her that was here 12 years ago with ovarian cancer. And I said, you know, she took our program. She had some medical treatment first, and then she took our program and she stayed 100% on it. And I said, you realize that you had a form of cancer that about probably 90% of women don't survive many years. And, uh, you know, she had so much happiness to tell us and share with us how the diet and lifestyle, of course, and the mindset that she got, that we, that we are so um, intense here about that everybody gets uh, psychotherapy. We have group sessions and they are a private session. And that is so important. And that was a big part of what really got her to heal. So women, I want to talk about women, of course, it's so close to my heart. And and of course, I've worked with women. I've been in this field for 48 years now. And, you know, now women are inactive, very inactive, because we mainly have jobs that we are sitting. And the longer we are sitting, the more we deteriorate. And if you look at statistics, what's going to happen to us by 
2030, that's only 10 years from now, it's going to be about 175 greater um, demand of hip surgeries, a 675% greater demand of knee surgeries. What is going on? We need to move. We need to do resistant training. We have muscles. We need to use them. You know, if your body, if you don't use them, if you don't train, then what happens, or you have a garden, like I, to this morning, I was filling four beds of beautiful vegetables that's going to grow in a, in a few weeks. But if you don't do that, your body actually, it's actually a burden for your body to have muscles that they don't use. So the, the body just get rid of it. But the good thing is it has a memory. And, and, and if you start training again, you get them back. So it's not lost, but your body will definitely, you lose, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> so, you know, this is, yeah. this is uh, really important for me right now that we get to know that we need to move and we need to do um, stretching, we need to do yoga, we need to do uh, strength exercise. Dr. Clement, you not only teach the stuff, but you also practice it. Um, right and you and your family you are a living testament of the of the Hippocrates principles so could you give us a basic knowledge of what that philosophy is what is the the philosophy behind Hippocrates well so the real philosophy is that and it even started with Hippocrates I mean that's why the Hippocrates name is so so perfect here and and I I actually did a virtual interview with Hippocrates, <laughs> living 460 BC. Oh, no, you didn't. I want to see that. Where would we I do know. that? We did it in our last magazine. And he would have loved to see what we do. Mm -hmm. He, he uh, everything we do, he was definitely for. And imagine how long ago. And he said, of course, food should be your medicine. So yes, our food is medicine because it's alive. And we have every sprout under the sun. And, you know, not only sunflower and pea sprouts and buckwheat that most of you probably see and wheatgrass, then we have the clover sprouts and the garlic sprouts and the onion sprouts and the mung bean sprouts and broccoli sprouts, you name it. So it makes a plate that is so amazing because each of these sprouts have medical benefits. It actually is pure medicine. So, you know, we add things, we add, of course, avocado, we have seeds, we have nuts, we have beans that we sprout, but the sprouting is what, where the life starts. So any farmer knows that you need to plant seeds and you start with little seedlings and then you plant them out in the garden and you need a lot of water. Our body needs plenty of fluid. A lot of people are dehydrated nowadays. We do blood tests when people come in here first. And I see so many people that are dehydrated. And that is a big problem because every muscle, every part of your body, your lymphatic system cannot function without plenty of fluid. But what fluid? So what if I drink sodas? I just talked to somebody who said, well, I drink my Mountain View. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. God. cancer in a can right oh my god cancer in a can and i and i just and that's fructose and people have to realize that fructose even from fruit is the most deadly of all foods so fructose feeds cancer diabetes cardiovascular you name it obesity 40 percent of americans are obese today this is horrendous five percent are morbidly obese so we're dealing with now, right now we have this big flu, but we have flu every winter. So what happens when I have this big belly that actually pushes up on uh, the diaphragm, pushes up on the big muscle you have right under the chest, it actually destroys a lot of your airways and um, you, you're lacking oxygen. And that's why when you're walking upstairs, you, you can hardly breathe, you know, you're out of breath. And this is a big problem now, especially with the flu. So people need to lose weight. People need to do it the right way. I don't want you to, to count calories or, you know, go on a special weight loss program. It's lifestyle. And that's what we teach here. You lose weight when you change your habits. It's all about habits. So we teach about habits. 
every day in the morning. We do saunas, we do exercise, we do sauna and steam, and then we have our breakfast. A lot of people decide to do intermittent fasting, so they just drink in the morning. Some people have the raw cereal. And twice a week, we serve fruit for the ones that can have it, of course. Uh, my suggestions for a lot of people will be, especially for cancer, diabetes, and other uh, infectious diseases that they might have, is that they stay out of sugar in any form. And fructose is in fruit too. So a lot of people drink carrot juice and, and beet juice, which we don't do here. Our juice is purely green. Celery, cucumber, and sell sunflower and pea sprouts. That's our juice here. So there is no, nothing else. So people are inactive and women are more inactive than men. And you would think, no, um, but that's the statistic anyway. And we will pay a price because each surgery is a problem. And you know, women now, of course, we have, it's a big part that have cancer and inactivity leads also to cancer not only obesity, blood clots. If I sit a long time, I might get a blood clot. Now I end up on medication forever and ever that has more side effects than my, my lifestyle probably yeah. had. Yeah. So I need to change. And I think I'm speaking to women and I'm sp that is what I wanna do for this conference and, real and make them realize that our, we, the number one thing that we die from is cardiovascular problem. So when we have heart attacks or we have stroke, it's much more serious than when a man has it because we have this small vessel disease and they have more coronary uh, problems. So it's, it's really important that we move. And if I have a job that I'm sitting, then I better get up all the time. I, every 15 minutes, take a stroll, walk around, even in the office, walk. Don't let blood clots happen, but it's also what you're eating. So our guests, of course, have lunch, amazing buffet, amazing dinner. They have exercise. Well, our guests can exercise four times before 10 o'clock. They have um, resistant exercise at seven, eight o'clock, they have yoga. 10 o'clock, they have trampoline, which is so great. Oh, fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's so much fun. And then uh, 10 o'clock, they have pool exercise. So by 10 o'clock or by 11 o'clock, then we start our lectures and we're teaching. Our institute is a teaching uh, institute because that's how people learn. They learn by doing and by doing it themselves. And that's why our program is 21 days because it takes 21 days to change habits. Amazing. What yeah. a what a wonderful place to be. I mean, you know, as you're talking, I'm like, oh, what a what a great I mean it's better than any resort you can you can go and to. It's Florida. <laughs> and it's Florida. Yeah. Now, Dr. Clement, I have a question for you. Now I mean it's it's great to have um food growing and it's it's nice to have it at your disposal. But what if like I live in Canada and nine uh, nine months a year, we can't grow anything outside. But you can grow indoors. That's what the Institute is about. You can grow most of these food indoors. There are automatic sprouters now. And there is, Canada has some of the best. You get an automatic sprouter. It has automatic sprinkler system in it. And you can grow your wheatgrass, sunflower. You can grow all the sprouts in there. And then you get organic leafy greens, from the farmer's market or, or, or um, health store. The thing is, yes, this is what we teach, that you could actually grow this on the 14th floor. <laughs> and Canada, for sure. You know, this institute started off in Boston. We were there for 30 years. We've been here uh, now 33 years, just about 34. And the deal is that we showed we were in Boston. We grew everything indoors. And we, of course, got uh, external stuff, organic um, leafy greens and so on from, from markets. But all the sprouts were grown indoors. And we, we were always proud to show the world, we can do it in Boston. You can do it anywhere. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, I wanted to ask you, what what is the ideal scene for you coming out of this uh, conference that is happening in October? What is the ideal scene? What would you like to see happen? So I hope that people will be so inspired that they th that we made it simple, that um, they will get advice. I will even have recipes. We will have people finding that I want to do this. I want to get a juicer. I want to get maybe a dehydrator because I can make things in there and, and I can keep it in a temperature where everything is still alive, meaning less than 44 Celsius or, or 115 Fahrenheit. And so showing things and, and sharing what you can do, I think that's what we all need to do. We need to make people feel inspired and to take the next step because not everybody's going to come here and not everybody is going to do the whole program, but maybe you take the first step. Maybe that is to take a walk every day, take a walk, an hour walk, brisk walk, at least 35 minutes, get your blood pressure fine because blood pressure cancer, cardiovascular, diabetes, you name it, it happens if I'm inactive. So, so much research has been done and I'll talk about that too. But, you know, I think what, if we can inspire people to take the first step, then it's worth gold. Um, you said, you talked about being active and a lot of people will say, but I exercise like four times a week. And yeah. meanwhile, they are sedentary for the most part of the day. Exactly. Can, yeah. you can you shed some clarity on this? Well, that's when things start to happen. That's when we bo body actually start to deteriorate and it starts swelling and you, feed your, you have feel your legs and your feet, you start feeling that it's swelling. It's like, you know, you know when you're in an airplane um, my husband and I, Brian and I, we drink a ton in the airplane so that we have to go to the bathroom back and forth because otherwise you automatically forget to leave. You kind of fall asleep and you sit there going to overseas. You sometimes sit eight hours and suddenly you're there and your legs are swollen and your feet are swollen. You know you could be in trouble of blood clots. So no, you have to drink a lot and it makes you go to the bathroom. You should do that at work too, for that matter. And you know, there is algae that helps you. Essential fatty acids are really important for every function, for your brain to function so that, you know, I don't lose my memory so that, so that I have capacity at work too. You don't make essential fatty acids, you have to eat them. So something good, for example, to have at work is uh, blue-green algae or green algae like chlorella. And just take some of that and get some pep from that. Take some protein powder. Like we make a protein powder made of uh, mushrooms. Take that, put some uh, water and mix it up and put some cinnamon and enjoy something like that to give you some pep during the day. Because most people drink coffee and that's the opposite of what? would help you <laughs> that's the opposite and, and but you know people think that that's um, that's what we need and so that that's supposed to help you so uh, you know so people lose their life because we're inactive thousands and thousands of people every year lose their life because of that and you know so many times um I just talked to one lady who broke her um femur and what happened she said I just fell. I didn't fall on anything. I said, no, you broke it and fell. And she's like, yeah, that's what I do. She said, because there was nothing on the floor. Why would I? It's not like I stumbled on something. I just fell. I said, yeah, you broke it and then you fell. Wow. Yeah. So this is, and women, you know, this happens. So imagine that we're going to need so many more hip surgeries in 10 years, we still have a ton now, but imagine it's going up 175% and knee surgery 675%. Wow, Gary. these are not easy things on your body. No. no. So keep our knees, keep our hips, keep moving. It's what's so tough about that, but we need to change habits. That's the deal. We need to put body fluids and food in that will nourish us. And yeah. you know, yeah. 
if, I think if you had a pet, which we always had pets before, you would never think of giving them things like coffee and sodas and, you know, <laughs> bad candy and all the stuff we eat and chocolates all day long. You know that your dog or cat, they're going to get sick. So uh, we, uh, you know, we give good habits here. That's what we do, because especially if you're here 21 days, you have, you have changed your taste buds. You've changed so many things in your body that you're like, wow, I love this. <laughs> that's, all, that's all it takes, 21 days to build habits. It's, it's amazing. What's yeah. the process um, if someone wants to join you um, at uh, Hippocrates Health Institute? Where would they, they go? Call, yeah, they call the Institute, like 561-471-8876, and ask for a program counselor. So a program counselor then tells uh, there's different rooms and you can share room, you can have private room. So uh, the program, the, same, the price is the same for the program, no matter what. And then you have different um, you know, possibilities to, to stay in. And so they will tell you what's open. And then they will tell you, uh, that, you know, we have different programs. We also have fitness program that gives you even more exercise. And for weight loss, I mean, of course, people lose even more with that. And then we have a spe specific cancer program. We have Dr. Jan Ranick comes in once a month to do this program. And it's just amazing. So people might ask, you know, do you have a special program? When does it start? And, and um, you know, so people come from all over the world. Mm -hmm. This institute is so known because we're, you know, about 64, 65 years by the time people see this probably. And, you know, people have gone through, like the lady I just interviewed about ovarian cancer, the one I'm going to interview later today about MS and how when she's on our diet, she's perfectly fine. And when she goes off our diet, which happens sometimes, she said, I feel terrible and all my symptoms comes right back. So, you know, I think sometimes people probably think that in three weeks, in 21 days, every problem I have in my body is gonna be gone. What is gonna happen is your habits your bad habits will be gone. That's what we hope for. And that we have taught you good habits for life. Excellent. Yeah. Dr. Clement, um, I know that you're busy and uh, you have given us um, your time today, but I want to encourage you to please give us two more minutes of your time and just leave us with whatever message you would like to leave us with. I want to leave you all with the message of... Um, you know, the, the happiness that comes when your body is doing well and to treat our whole body as a temple and to actually start thinking, what am I putting into it? And what do I want to get out of it? Do I want to have health a long life, a happy life where I be with my kids, my grandkids, where I can really help my family, where I can help and be of service to humanity. Do I, do I want to do that? Well, then we have the tools for you. If I want to be a burden, then, you know, why, why live? You know, I want to be of service. I want to be of help. And I want to do the most that I am possibly capable of doing. And some of us have been born into, um, physical problems, some have had accidents. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about doing the most of what you have. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank I can't you. wait to hear you on the big stage and uh, learn more from you. Thank you for bringing us your knowledge and wisdom. Thank you for everything you're doing to dedicate your life to uh, humanity and health and wellness. Thank you. I really appreciate Thank you. it. And for well, everyone, you. yes, and you as well, for everyone who's been watching us, thank you so much. Please share this talk with your loved ones to spread this knowledge. And as always, this has been another Magnetic Entrepreneur Podcast. And I'm Della. Have a blessed day, everybody.